Welcome back to McPhee Ford, and today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Edge SEL. The Edge SEL is a great family SUV. You've got a nice full leather interior, lots of driver's assist features, and a lot of trunk space. Starting off, you do get remote start equipped with the SEL, so you can warm your car up in those cold winters. You get this one painted in black here with the alloy 16-inch wheels. Getting on inside, you do have intelligent access door handles with a remote entry keypad. You've got your door sill here with power window and power mirror controls. Leather interior with the six-way power for both passenger and driver seats, both heated. To the left of the steering wheel, you have your fog light controls, headlights, your trunk open, and your traction control off button. You also get the cold weather package in this, so rubber flooring. Go ahead and push that engine start stop button to fully start the vehicle, and now you are into the displays. On the left you have a small screen with display mode, shows a few different settings in here. You've got trip settings so you can track your trips and then you have fuel economy of course too. You've got your driver's assist panel, so blind spot, cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, driver's alert system, lane keep assist, pre-collision rear parkade and trailer sway because you can tell a trailer with this. On the right is entertainment, navigation and phone so you can go in and switch the radio station. You can go down to navigation and go into a home address and you have the phone section where you can connect your phone. Lane keep assist is on the blinker stock with these paddle shifters back here. And then you have adaptive cruise controls on the steering wheel as well as your hands-free volume and control for the phone calls. This is sync four. Getting into this button up top here, this is where your settings will lie. You've got your sound settings in here so you can just adjust the sound as is. You've got radio settings in here, so you can control your preset rows, You've got your phone list. You've got a vehicle here, so you can go and turn on, on and on your, your occupant alert. Basically, it just tells you to uh, check your back seats before you leave. Serial number, door pad key code, and your rear camera park and delay. You have general settings, so you can control temperature units and your touchscreen beep, and then you have display settings, so you can go ahead and turn up the brightness of this, or you could even turn it to light mode if you prefer that on the inside. Getting out of this and pressing this button up here brings you to your main screen menu so you can travel between your radio, your phone, navigation, Bluetooth, Android, Apple, Car Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, your owner's manual, and you can even scribble on and take some notes here if need be. Say you're driving around, just go here and then you can scribble here, but of course it's broken, or it's not broken, it's uh, not enabled during when the vehicle is on. Anyway, you can go jump, jump back over here to your radio section where you can control the radio, switch over to Sirius XM, you get your presets easily jumping in here, and then you have bottoms uh, bottom section where you can go back over to navigation. Navigation here, uh, you have your where to section, then you can set up a work and a home address, you can go to categories, your recents, your saved, your fuel trips, your tools, all that good stuff. It can even tell you the traffic and you can make this screen a bit larger and a bit smaller if you don't want this giant screen down here. Below that is your climate center. You've got your climate section here, so you can turn on your heated steering wheel, turn the climate on and off. You can control which uh, area of the edge is getting climate thrown to it. And then of course you have your dual zone sliders which are controlled on these sliders here, which is nice to see. Moving downwards, you do have some manual controls for volume, your defrosters. You can bring up a camera here. And then you also have your radio controls. Moving downwards, you get some storage, USB-A and USB-C port. And then you have two cup holders, your gear lever, electric parking brake, and your auto stop, auto start stop function. Up top is a universal garage door opener, and then you do get a spot for some sunglasses here and then controls for this panoramic moonroof located up top. Coming around towards the back of the Ford Edge now, you get your privacy glass back here, your rear view camera, your backup camera, your license plate, and your Edge badge. Open the trunk, you can use the key fob once again and the trunk will come open for you. You do get rubber mats in the back as well as a nice privacy cover. Just comes across just like that and when you don't need it. It retracts back. You get a lot of nice storage under here. Under this, you get a full-size spare tire and some storage units there. You also have on the left seat controls, so left and rear seat. So if you press the right, boom, goes down, and then you have a 12-volt outlet on the side to charge your 
devices. Closing the trunk is as easy as opening it, press the button, walk away, and your trunk will close for you. Getting into the back of the Ford Edge SEL, you do have the leather seating in the back with the rubber floor mats. You've got a lot of storage back here. Getting inside, you do have storage in the seat in front of you. You have adjustable vents for climate, small storage in here, and then you have household plug and two more USB ports so you can charge up your devices in the back seat. If you don't have a middle passenger, then you do get access to this leather armrest with built-in cup holders. Very nice feeling. You can hold your cup still while going around some turns in the back of your Ford Edge. And then getting up towards the front of the Ford Edge SEL, your LED lighting system, high beams, low beams, and fog lights with that chrome grille. It all ties up together very, very nicely. So make sure to come on over to McPhee Ford to get your hands on the latest 2021 Ford Edge models. As always, we thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.